Okay, so you've just seen uh, how we create the the standard mount, which is that. Again, a very simple and um, a very uh, fast way of creating your mount for for whatever purposes. Again, your surface levers, tandems, or secret weapons. Now I'm going to get more creative. So I'm going to start off with my length of braid again, but this time uh, I'm going to utilise the likes of this which is some glow in the dark tinsel I've got some blues, orange, whites you can get them in myriad of colours but uh, yeah from various manufacturers but I'm going to start start with some of them uh, and also you can get some um, basically uh, it's, it's just a braided tinsel uh, but a very fine braided tinsel you don't have to use that you can just use some holographic tinsel or, or whatever um, but that, that's um, that's also something that can be utilized on this next step. So what we're going to do is again take the braid back through the eye of the hook. What we're going to do now though, I've got a section of the, the white glow-in-the-dark tinsel. I'm going to pass that through the eye as well. Okay, and just draw that up. And then if you've got enough room you can also pass through some of that tinsel. I'm not sure if I've actually got enough room here. Depends on the size of the eye of the hook. Yep, there you go. So that can come through as well. So what you do then is just draw them all up. Draw them all up until they're all all the tag ends are just matching up. Like so. And then you want to cut they all finish at the same point. That just makes life easier for passing. Uh, braid can be pretty difficult to, to cut at times. You can actually get special scissors for that. So it's going to wet that so all the tag ends are acting together. And then I'm going to get a, a slightly thicker diameter uh, shrink tubing. Probably around the same length again, around the three centimeter mark, just for purposes of showing you how to create all this. So all you need to do, again, hold all the tag ends together, pass it into the center of the tube, make sure they're all running as one, pass it up and over, there you go, just like that, and then pass it up towards the eye, make sure all the materials are pulling up, there you go, just like so. And then we get back to, I'm going to show you a bit clearer this time, I'm just going to show you how to just pass the flame underneath, again not holding it in one spot for too long, just give it a bit more of a flame. There you go. See so just shrinking away that, if you don't burn your fingers. And then as it's cooling, just draw it all out. There you go. So what you've achieved there, if I twist it around you should be able to see it, so you've got different things running through the core of your mount. Uh, you've got the, the glow in the dark section, you've got your uh, braided tinsel, and then of course you've got your, your, your braid as well. So by using utilizing the, the clear uh, shrink tubing, you're actually able to um, loop different materials. Uh, another thing you can do actually is put lead wire through there as well. You can actually put some lead wire underneath the, the mount um, before you shrink it and then you can create some some heavier heavier uh, mounts for you know deeper pots or whatever as, you, as you're fishing. But again this section here is really down to your own imagination. You can just mess around uh, as you see fit. Um, but again that's a that's a pretty nifty way of incorporating some colour uh, and some flash and even some glow in the dark materials into your mount um, and obviously the bit benefit of it is you've got the shrink tubing over it so if, uh, if a sea trap does attack the fly or you know if you try and unhook a fish um, with with the forceps uh, you're not going to 
rip all the materials because they're protected by the shrink tubing. So it actually makes for a very durable fly as well. Um, which again, you know, if you're going to take the time to tie the fly, you might as well have a couple of fish out of it, that's for sure. But again, that, that creates a, a very nice uh, and easy, easy mount with all the benefits of what you were doing before, but created very, very quickly. No silk, no tying thread or whatever uh, incorporated at all and very, very quick and easy. Okay, so a lot of you like to use mylar tubing on your snake flies, uh, even on the body of some of your tube flies. So I'm going to show you now a way of incorporating that into uh, the, the shrink tubing mount. So it's actually quite a straightforward process. So just cut a small section, around three, three and a half centimeters, and about the same sort of length of, uh, of the shrink tubing as well. Again, remember to use clear shrink tubing because you obviously want the, the color of the, uh, the body to show through underneath. Again, it's yeah, you know, just uh, if you don't like the idea of passing everything through the eye of the hook, as I as I showed you earlier with the with the other mount, then this actually covers all the braid and everything in the core, so you don't get to see anything of how the mount is actually constructed. So pass the length of braid through the eye of the hook as we have done with the previous mounts. Then marry up the tag ends and pass it through core of the mylar tubing and this braid again because it's quite stiff actually makes this process a lot easier and just pass it through like so and then slide it down just over the eye of the hook just like that you can leave those little tag ends fraying and then slide over the shrink tubing and actually make sure the shrink tubing is slightly uh, shorter than the mylar that you just used. Like so, and then pass it down, up and over. Make sure when you get to that point, make sure the tag ends go through into the core of the tubing. Like so, and just twist it up. Towards the eye, keep going up, keep going up, and then you'll see some tag ends starting to pop out the other side. Then you can just kind of draw them out, and that creates a bit of a slim amount, just as so. There you go, and that's perfect. So it's just over the eye of the hook, all the tubing is nice and straight, and that's a perfect mount. You can see you leave the these straggly ends just out, it looks like another base of the, another fly basically out, out of the base uh, so it adds a bit of a, an attractive feature so all you need to do then is pass your flame over again don't hold it in one spot for too long quick 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 and then same as per usual just hold it out until the mount cools just a few seconds When it's cold, there you go. You've got all of your mylar tubing in the base, but with the added benefit of the braid, uh, the braid in the core. But then you've got the attractive feature of the the silver mylar, and you can see it's just all protruding out the other end. Just going to quickly show you about if you're creating it, uh, creating these. Um, shrink tubing mounts for uh, either a uh, surface lure or a secret weapon style or stinger stinger style mount. I'm just going to show you quickly just using the same mount but with a treble hook. First of all you need to choose your tubing accordingly. Again you want it just fitting over, that's a bit too tight. There you go, that one's perfect. You can see it's just snug, just, just slides over. Um, so the mount for these are usually a bit longer, so I'm going to cut this one at around 4 centimeters, 4 to 5 anyway. Then you need the length of your braid again, again, 6 inches, 15 centimeters, something similar. Simple, braid through the eye of the hook again, 
marry up the tag ends, pass the tag ends through the tubing, slide the tubing down over the eye of the hook, like so. Take your flame, move it all quickly, like so, and then just draw it out. Hold it until it cools a bit. At this point, if you wanted to manipulate the mount, you could. So, if you say if you wanted to do a bit of more of an inverted mount, or I'm not sure, you know, you could offset the hook or, or whatever, and you can certainly do that at that point. Um, but most of the time, you just go for this bog standard straight through mount. As you can see, the shrink tubing actually moulds around the eye of the hook, so you get a very streamlined hook. Uh, or very streamlined mount and again before doing that if you wanted to add weight you can just put a length of um, lead wire uh, just you know, literally put a length of that underneath the tubing before you start shrinking and then you'd have uh, a sinking mount obviously not for your surface areas, but certainly for your secret weapons if you wanted to and there you go that, that's the finished mount